welcome uh, at Mostside TV. My name is Kai Tannemann, aka Mo Tensen. We are not finished with the R15 previews because, um, okay, after the first high, uh, anyone uh, knows now the most of the new features at uh, the R15, but I have some. Uh, Something more, and uh, maybe it's a special uh, uh, now more for pro user, but uh, it's very, very interesting uh, because um, I didn't know it before. But um, when you use the physical renderer in, in cinema, um, they struggle a bit with uh, alpha channels. I show you what I mean. So um, yeah, take just a, this disc. That's great. And um, material, and I prepared a little alpha map. Okay, so I set this uh, luminous channel on that we can see. Oh, I have to give it to the object, of course. So, yes, and now I do some movement. Um, yeah. Okay, shall track. There are the keyframes. I choose this one. Yeah, I like it more linear. Okay. So that's the preparation for the effect I like to show you. So in the past. That's a bit slow, yeah, I'll make it a little bit faster. Okay, a bit faster. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Okay, we just uh, watch what the physical renderer did with motion blur, yeah? This is a default, uh, default is on uh, adaptive low, and we, Watching what he did. Oh, yeah, looks horrible. Yeah, you can give him more speed <laughs> and it looks more hor horrible. So, uh, what I do right now in, in the timeline is um, giving just more degree to the disc. Yeah, <gasps> okay, but this is great. So, you see, when, when uh, you are at uh, adaptive and, and low. Uh, Default setting this uh, motion blur through an alpha map looks very, very noisy. Not good, of course. So you can hire uh, the sample count, I set them uh, at medium right now, and yeah, yeah, it looks much better, but still, there are some still artifacts in it. Yeah, you see, and okay, you, you now can set uh, again the sample count higher, but you know when you're using physical renderer, uh, the uh, default, uh, no, the pre, moment, uh, the high ones uh, are very, very high, and it means, of course, your whole rendering, this is just uh, plain, uh, but uh, in, in normal cases, your whole rendering will need much more time, yeah, and uh, I'm choosing in, in my projects mostly is enough when I choose a bit over medium. Yeah, for example, medium, and, and then I hire just these things. So, and in most of the cases, it's enough. So, I, I never get to the highest uh, sample count. So, but <laughs> yeah, you see, there are still the artifacts in it, so I have to go to the highest uh, sample count. No, <laughs> not with the R15. But then, you clever guys uh, see it maybe, here is uh, some special shading transparent check, yeah? So, and that means we go uh, back to, to medium, yeah? This is medium, uh, and this means um, uh, the R15 does uh, some more in-deep calculation and why this now needs uh, 
9 seconds and I switch on this new key thing, I don't know. And you see now it looks clean. Yeah, because uh, there is a uh, add on algorithm that checks uh, the alpha stuff for you. <laughs> and uh, the artifacts are gone. Render time is a bit higher. Okay, and this scene is, is uh, <laughs> nothing to see. It's uh, under a second. Um, but yes, that's what I like to show you. The artifacts are gone. That's all. With this nice little button. And you not have to hide uh, the samples on the highest uh, possible thing to have clean alpha maps, uh, alpha cutted object parts, I don't know. Um, so it's enough to check this button. This costs a bit more runner time, but uh, like in this case, isn't uh, visible more runner time. But it's a visible uh, result, of course. So this is one tiny, tiny part uh, of the physical render this new feature in R15. I just think I uh, can show you this because it's it's maybe more interesting for people who like to use uh, motion blur of the physical render. And now it's sign time saving. Sign taping. Yeah, it's sign taping. <laughs> oh, and there's uh, one more thing too. Uh, while we're talking about speed up in uh, R15, why well, I show you about 14? I don't know. Say why. So I take this little guy and open the material, give him displacement. So just a normal noise. And it set us very high. Gives this material to the guy. Set a physical render. And yeah, just ran away. Okay, so and now uh, Cinema needs some time to pre calculation uh, for the sub polygon displacement. Yeah, uh, maybe when you use this, um, you know, uh, subdivision level 6 is it's very high. Oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> just think why he has no head. <laughs> okay, needs 20 seconds. Yeah, I save uh, this file in sub speed okay <laughs> and open the uh, 15 the same file you know sub speed yeah you can see it's no trick it's the same uh, subdivision level 6 and now we're rendering yeah I tell you something in the 20 seconds that it needs a, no it didn't need 20 seconds it's a bit faster, yeah, 12 seconds. That's it! <laughs> yes, um, the sub polygon displacement is speeded up in R15, especially in conjunction with the physical render. One more thing. Nice, yeah? <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, sorry, uh, I forgot to switch on the physical renderer. Ah. So, and now, especially in conjunction with the physical renderer. No, it's not true. You compare it, 20 seconds in R14 and just 5 seconds in R15. Isn't this great? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, for, for this bug thing, you, you may see uh, in this channel there is a, a video, it's called uh, um, Rockwell 67 Breakdown or something. Uh, there's this bug and I used very high amounts of, of displacement in, in this uh, little movie and I wish I had R15 in this time <laughs> because uh, the displacement pre-calculation needs very much time when you have a more complex scene. This little guy is, is not complex so we have just 20 seconds but in a normal environment it can cost very much time. Okay, this is, was one more thing from Motensen for you, Mosai TV. And uh, I think we all love the R15. See you.